If you give me the next few minutes of your time, I'm going to show you how to guarantee that you are going to get instant A-gap pressure against your opponent. Even if they max protect their protection, you are still going to get A-gap pressure just like this right down the middle at your opponent. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every single day that can help you get better at Madden. And this nickel triple defense that I have been in for the last week and a half, we just released a full defensive ebook on this. This defense is so much fun to run, and it provides you with so many different types of pressure concepts that I absolutely cannot... I cannot even go into words about how many different types of nano blitzes you're going to be able to have uh, from this nickel triple formation. Now in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about how you can guarantee that you're going to get a gap pressure even if they max protect. And now I, I do want to preface this by saying I'm going to show uh, two different blitzes in this. I'm going to show a, a beginner blitz and then I'm going to show the advanced blitz, um, which I'm really, really excited to share with you. Um, but both of them are going to be, they're supposed to be used in different situations. For example, the beginner blitz is supposed to be used if they're not blocking anybody. The advanced blitz is supposed to be used once you know that they are blocking people and to try to pick you up, okay? Because you're going to be sending a lot more people in the advanced blitz than you are in the beginner blitz. That being said, if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive guide and learn all of my different pressure schemes and my coverage schemes and how I apply those schemes to specific meta formations in this game, there's a link in the description of the video. You can get the entire nickel triple defensive ebook for just 15 bucks and it's on sale just by clicking that link in the description below. Now, um, I'm going to bring two plays out. The first blitz that we're going to talk about is from Tampa 2, uh, but the second blitz and the one that we're going to really spend the majority of the video on is the Nickel Blitz 2, and we're going to show how you can absolutely scream against match, Max Protect uh, Gun Bunch from this. So, uh, first things first, real simple. Uh, all we're going to do, if we want to just get this blitz to come in, very simple. All you do is you're going to show blitz, and then you're going to QB contain. And then I like to use her this guy. And what you'll see is you're going to get pressure. You're going to get that little slip angle. And as you can see, Chandler Jones disengages and comes completely free at the quarterback. Now, if I wanted to use her this safety right here, again, I could do that. The setup would be exactly the same. And as you would see, we'd get basically the same result. Just like that, they just kind of pass each other off. And as you can see, we're getting instant pressure at the quarterback. Now, let me show you again one more time, and then we'll go over the Tampa 2 version of the same thing. As you see here, um, that time we got our A-gap pressure, and J.J. Watt came in completely free. Now, um, if you want to, I'm going to show you another bl blitz, and that's Tampa 2. All you're going to do is globally blitz your linebackers, and you're going to stand kind of right here. And what you'll see is we'll get A-gap pressure, as you see. Now, really, really important thing that you have to understand. If they block a running back, that this, this Tampa 2 blitz that I just showed you, if they block a running back, it's not really that good. As you can see, the pressure does not come in. Okay? So... What they're going to do, how, we, we need to learn how do we get pressure if they block a running back. Well, the nickel blitz two is where this really starts to become nasty. So we have soft squats on the outside. What that means is if they block somebody like a tight end or a running back and they don't have a flat route and they run a vertical route, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I'm going to put Hopkins on a spade and then I'm going to, I'm actually going to blitz Thompson and I'm going to show you that if the running back does not run to the flat on this play, you're going to see that my soft squat is going to play, is going to run with him. He's going to be able to make a catch tackle or put him in a position to be able to make a play. Okay, really, really important because we're going to be taking the deep blue zones off of the field because we know we're going to guarantee pressure against the gun bunch meta. So uh, we're going to show blitz. And then here's your setup. You're going to blitz this guy on the left. Then what we're going to do is we're going to man up onto the running back. And then last but not least, uh, we're going to, uh, I, well, I'm going to hold off on that for just a second. Uh, and then we're going to stand right here with our user. So as you can see, this is what the setup is. Now we're blitzing a lot of people, but if they block a running back, what you're going to see is we're going to get a gap pressure right through the a gap. You see JJ Watt come right through just like that. And we're getting our pressure. Okay. So now, what if they block a tight end? So I'm going to max protect. I'm going to show you the same exact blitz. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to max protect, uh, which means I'm going to block the tight end and the running back. And what you're going to see here is I'm going to get edge pressure, but I'm not going to get A-gap pressure. So what if I want to guarantee that I'm going to get A-gap pressure? What do I do? Well, here's what you do. You're going to globally blitz your linebackers. 
you're going to then show blitz and you're going to see that it's going to bring Isaiah Simmons into the A gap, just like this right here. And then you're going to stand about right here with your user. The next step is you're going to blitz that safety off that left edge. And then last but not least, you're going to man up the running back just like this. So you don't have to worry about the left side. The left side's basically bagged. The right side, you have a soft squat. So if they throw anything to the flat or anything to the outside, you're going to be good. So your primary objective is you're looking for a streak or you're looking for a slant or crossing route coming back across your face. And what you're going to see here with this blitz, I'm going to max protect. And at the snap of the, uh, at the, snap of the ball, you're going to see that we are going to guarantee a gap pressure against max protect. Now, this is why I love the nickel triple. No matter what they do, they cannot stop our a gap pressure. As you see right here, they max protect. We get the block and release. And as you see, I've got 94 coming right down the A-gap. Who's open right here, right? They have to block everybody to pick up the pressure. And as you see, we're playing really, really stout defense. Another thing that we can do, we could get really, really aggressive with this uh, if we wanted to, and we could man lock the backside. So what that would look like would be something like this. This is my favorite blitz for compression, by the way, because because compression can't handle this. So we we uh, man lock the spread side on the back side just like that and then on the on the right side we're going to put a hard flat out there so if there's any hard flat any flat pass we've got a guy in position to make a play and then the last but not least our primary responsibility with our user is right in here these seams and as you see our a gap pressure completely screams and you know what it's a bang bang play and we're going to make them have to make a decision about where they're going to throw the ball so let me show you that one more time again here's your setup you're going to global blitz your linebackers you're going to then show blitz you're going to blitz the safety then you're going to man up the linebacker that is in the gap on the running back and that's pretty much your setup so you see here this is what the play looks like and then from there you can adjust your coverage now you're going to use her right in here and at the stamp of the ball i'm going to hold left trigger and just kind of slide to the right and as you see we get a gap pressure at the quarterback super super glitchy now, this is why I like the nickel triple so much. The nickel triple is absolutely insane. You are going to create, in my personal opinion, the best pressure concepts possible in this game from this formation. This formation will guarantee you pressure. Uh, that time we did not blitz the safety. We were just trying something out. But this is going to guarantee a gap pressure against anything. That's why I like this so much. Now, if you see here that the linebacker is not going in the gap, all you have to do is press coverage and then reshow blitz. And you see now the linebacker goes into the gap. That's important for the pressure. If you want to contain, uh, you can do that. I will show you what that looks like. So here's a contain rush. And as you see, completely screaming off the edge. Now, one thing that's really important to point out about this blitz is let's say that they send five out. And this is where the cat and mouse game comes in. So let's say they send five people out on routes. Well, you're going to get pressure, but if you take a look at this, you're going to see that it's edge pressure. You're not getting your gap pressure. Um, and that's where I come back to the beginning of the video, and I say that's where if, there's, if they're not sending people out on routes, then please, please, please um, do something like this. Literally, just bring this guy down. You can drop that middle linebacker. It looks exactly the same. And then as you see, if they're sending five out, you get your A-gap pressure, right? But you're only having to send five people. So that's where you have to use some discernment. We show you how to do that and show you how to run the rest of the defense over at our Nickel Triple Defensive eBook. So if you've not picked up the Nickel Triple Defensive Guide, I think it is a must-own for Madden 22. It contains within it some of the best blitzing concepts uh, in the game this season. And so if you want to get my entire Nickel Triple triple defensive ebook it is on sale for just $15 there's a link in the description so all you got to do is go down to the description click on that link it'll take you right to my website or you can get the defensive guide for just 15 bucks